Good morning, dear children. So how are you? So are you watching your YouTube classes, children? So we have completed till uh, till chapter six, right? What was the last chapter? It was about square and square roots, right? So uh, chapter seven was about cube and cube roots. So there is uh, we will compare the both chapters and we'll learn, right? So in the previous session I have uh, given an introduction about chapter seven. So we compared how uh, square and square roots uh, done and how uh, what are the different method we are using in cube and cube roots. So all these we have compared and we have learned, right? So today we are going to see about the exercise problems. So say, uh, chapter seven was very small comparing to the square and square roots. Chapter seven was small, only two exercises there. And overall about the chapter we have seen in the previous session, right? So. The problem is also very simple. So today we will see the exercise problem of cube and cube roots. Okay children. So you can keep a rough note and pencil and a textbook with you. Okay. I will be teaching one model. For example uh, exercise 7.1 question number 1. There will be 5 problems right. So I will teach one problem. The same model. Remaining 4 problems you have to do as a homework. Is it okay children? So if I'm teaching all the problems and uh, you will be just copying down in the classwork note, it won't be good. So I want all, all of the students to practice. Okay, I'm giving you the practice work and I need all to do that. After completing, take a snap and send to my WhatsApp number. And one more surprise is there for you. Today I'm going to give a surprise one word test. Okay, so you can check in WhatsApp. I have uh, updated the question paper. You can just take it. Okay, just only 10 one mark question based upon chapter 6 square and square roots and one or two problems based on cube roots also. Okay, children. So let me see what you have understand from this YouTube classes. Okay, I'm teaching, you are listening, you are writing notes. So let me see. So today all have to do that exam and take a snap and then send to my WhatsApp number. Don't forget. Okay, my dear, dear children, now let's continue with the exercise problems. Okay, children, let's see the exercise problems. Exercise 7.1. So, what is the first question, children? Which of the following numbers are not perfect cubes? So, what is perfect cube, children? When you multiply a number three times, you'll be getting one answer, right? So, that is a perfect cube. For example, we have uh, seen one cube. What is one cube? One. Then 2 cube 8. So we have seen till 10, right? So you know what is perfect cube. So when you multiply one number three times, number itself, when you are multiplying three times, you will get your an answer. That is a perfect cube. We have seen the definitions. We have seen some perfect cubes. So just go through that one def introduction part. Now, what is the first question? Which of the following numbers are not perfect cubes here some numbers they have given right so from this number we want to find out so which are the numbers not perfect cube so here we are using prime factorization method already you know what is prime factorization because we have done many problems in cube and sorry uh, in square and square roots chapter right so here we are going to Apply the prime factorization method and we will find out whether the given number is perfect cube or not. Okay. Now, let's see how we are doing this one. So, now we are going to solve this one. We want to check whether it is a perfect cube or not. So, you all know prime factorization method. How you will be doing 216. So, it is uh, divisible by 2. Yes, it is divisible by 2. Always start with the smaller number. Okay, children. So, 1, 2 is 2. You will divide. 216 divided by 2. Divide and see. Okay. So, those who are very good in doing uh, in your mind, you can do it. Others, you can do and see. Divide 216 by 2 at the side and write it down. You can do with me. Okay. So, 1, 2 is 2. Then, bring this 1 down. You, you cannot... Uh, Divide, right? So, we will add in 0, bring the next number. So, 8 2 is 60. Next, again 2. 5 2 is 10, 4 2 is 8. Again 2. 2 2 is 4. 
one balance so 7 2 is 14 so 27 it is not divisible by 2 but it is divisible by 3 9 3 is 27 9 it is again divisible by 3 so 3 3 is 9 now take and write how you will be writing 216 is equal to 2 into 2 into 2 into 3 into 3 into 3. So here, check this children. So here, this is cube root. Okay, square root you will check pair. Whether 2, there is uh, 2, 2 like that you will be checking, right? Whether 5, 2 times it is there or the given number, we will check it with 2 pair. But here, it is cube root. So here, Look at here, 3, how many, how many numbers are there, sorry, example, 2, how many, num how many numbers are there, 1, 2, 3, so this is 1 pair. Now 3, 1, 2, 3, so we can take it together. So from this, we are having here, 3, 2, and 3 also, 3 times are here. So, 216 is a perfect cube. You are, they are not asking to find the value. So, you don't want to do the next step. So, here you are getting 3, uh, 2, 3 times. And 3, this pair also you are having 3 number. 1, 2, 3. So, 2, 3 times are there. Then 1, 2, 3. 3 also 3 times are there. So, 216. So, we can say therefore, since all the factors, these are the factors, right? Since all the factors appears in a group of, what is the number? Group of 3. Look at here. Since all the factors appear in a group of 3. Okay. So we can say 216 is a, so we can say 216 is a perfect cube right so this explanation you don't want to write since for an understanding i have written so since all the factors appear these are the factors these factors appears in a group of three this is important these factors appears in a group of three this word is important right so one two three this pair also one two three so if it is not for example three you are having only two times you are having two three times it is there for example 3 only 2 times are there. So, we can say then the given number is not a perfect square. Not a perfect cube. Sorry, not a perfect cube. Okay, understood. So, when you are finding for other number and you are getting 2, 3 times. But uh, when you are counting uh, the next pair, you are getting only 2 times. Then whether you will say the given number is a perfect cube or not, then we can write since the factors are, uh, does not appear in the group of 3, so the given number, what number, for example, take 260, is uh, not a perfect cube. Like that, you can write it down. Okay? So, like this, you want to do the remaining problems. Is it clear, children? So, brain factorization, you are thorough with that. Just, you want to check this and write it down. Okay? Now, let's see the next problem. Okay, this one, the second example. What is the question? 128. You want to check whether this number is a perfect cube or not. Okay, so check here. Do the prime factorization and they can write the numbers. So, 1, 2, 3. Okay, one pair. Next one. 1, 2, 3. So, 1, 2, 3, one pair. Next 1, 2, 3, so next this is second pair and you, can you see here, here this 2 is single. We don't have this 3 pair. There is only 1, 2 is there. So we can say this 128 is not a perfect cube. We can say this is not a perfect cube. Why? Because this is 1 pair, this is second pair, but here this, this is 1 group. This is second group, but whether... The third group, there is only 1, 2. So, this is not a perfect cube. Perfect cube. Okay, children. So, this is how you want to do your homework problem. Now, let's see the next part. Okay. The next question. 
find the smallest number by which each of the following numbers must be multiplied to obtain a perfect cube. They have given some numbers, some questions they have given. And what do you understand from this question? Find the smallest number. You want to find out the smallest number by which each of the following numbers must be multiplied to obtain a perfect cube. So the given numbers, these numbers 243, 256 are not, the given numbers are not perfect cube. So you want to make a perfect cube but you want to multiply one smallest number to the given number. For example, with 243 you want to multiply one smallest number. So when you multiply that number with the question 243 you will obtain a perfect cube number but you don't know what is that number you want to find that smallest number okay so here also we will apply train factorization method and then we will solve the problem now is it clear can you understand this question so the given numbers are not perfect cube to obtain perfect cube, we have to multiply one smallest number. So when you multiply the smallest number with the given question, you will obtain a perfect cube. So we want to find that smallest number. Okay, so what method you are going to apply here? Train factorization method. Now, let's see how to solve this. We will see now. Okay, what is the question children? The first question is 243. So what you are going to do? You are going to do prime factorization method. Solution 243. Do a prime factorization method. This can be this divisible by 3. Okay. So... 8 3's are 24, 1 3 is 3. So 81, we can um, use 9 table or we can use 3 table. So we can use 3 table. We will go with the smallest number. Okay, children. So 3. So 27. Divide 81 divided by 3, you will be getting 27. Again, it is divisible by 3, right? 9 3's are 27. Again, 3, 3. So next, you want to write the Take and write 243 is equal to 1, 2, 3, right? 1, 2, 3. Again, 1, 2. Okay. So, look at here. 1, 2, 3. So, this is one group. This is one group. So, here... Only 2, 3 are there, right? So, this is not a group. So, here 1, 3 is missing. 1, 3 is missing. So, they are asking to find the perfect cube, right? So, what are you going to do? You are going to multiply. You are going to multiply 243. Here 1, 3 is missing, right? We will add. We will multiply with that 3. 243 into 3. Multiply it. 3, 3 is a... 9. So, 4 3s are 12. 1 balance, right? 3 2s are 6. 6 plus 1, 7. So, 729. So, 729 is a perfect cube. 729 is a perfect cube. So, what is the smallest natural number? What is the smallest uh, number we have uh, multiplied to obtain the perfect cube? 3. Right? So, 243 is a given number in the question and that is not a perfect cube and in the question they are asking when you multiply one smallest natural number with the given number 243 you will get the perfect cube. We don't know that number so we want to find out that number. So, we will do first prime factorization method. Then we will take and write. So, here this is one group. And in the second group, 1, 3 is missing. So, with that 3, we will multiply. 243 into 3. Okay. 
So we are getting the answer 729. So 729 is a perfect cube. So hence the smallest natural number by which 243 should be multiplied to get the perfect cube is 3. The smallest number is 3. Okay. Like this you want to do the remaining problems. Okay. Now let's see the next type. The third question, find the smallest number by which each of the following must be, this is multiplied, okay, this one divided to obtain the perfect cube. The same method we will use but here multiplied, one number should be multiplied to get the perfect cube. Here one number should be, uh, with the 81 should be divided by one number, one smallest number. We want to find that number to obtain the perfect cube. Okay. Now we will see the solution part. Here are the numbers. So we will see it for 81. The same way you can do for the remaining problem solves. So 81 right. So solution. To the frame factorization method 81. We can divide by 3. So 81 divided by 3 will be getting the answer 27. 27 again divisible by 3. 9 then again 3. 3. So you are getting. We got this right. Now write down this. 81 is equal to. Write down the numbers factors. 1. Second one 2. 3. Again. Three. So here. This is one group. Right. But here you have only one 3. Right. So here you want to divide. So you want to divide by one smallest number to get the perfect cube. 81 is not the perfect cube. So here division right. So with 81 you will be dividing by this 3. 81 divided by 3. So 81 divided by 3. 81 divided by 3. 2 3 are 6. 8 minus 6 2. Bring this one down. You will be getting 7 3 are 21 right. 7 3s are 21. So 81 divided by 3, 27. Whether 27 is a perfect cube? Yes. 3 cubes are 27, right? If you want, you can write it that also. 3 cubes are 27. So 27 is a perfect cube. So which is the smallest number we are uh, using to divide 3? 3 is the smallest number uh, we are using to divide to get the perfect cube. So 27 is a perfect cube. Is it clear? The previous uh, problem was to multiply by a smallest number. Here, division. So, here 1, this 3 is extra, right? This is 1 group. So, with this number, you will be dividing the given question and you will be obtaining the perfect cube. Is it clear, children? Now, let's see the next exercise problems. The next exercise is find the cube root of each of the following numbers by frame factorization method. So square root also you have done by frame factorization method. Here cube root also you are going to apply frame factorization method. So frame factorization method is same method for cube, uh, cube root as well as square root. So you have to do the frame factorization method. Next, next step is there is a small difference between square root and cube root. That I will explain it. Okay, general. Now, here some problems are given. So, let's see for the first question. Okay, we'll see it for the first question and second question. Remaining problems, you can do it. Okay, find the cube root of each of the following numbers by frame factorization method. So, you are going to find the cube root for the given numbers. Okay, by what method? By frame factorization method. Okay, so solution 64. Apply frame factorization method 64 is divisible by 2. So 3 2s are 6, 2 2s are 4. Again, it is divisible by 2. You can also do with me, children. So 1, uh, one 2 is 2, 1 balance. Then uh, 6 2s are 12. Again, 2 8 2s are 16. 2 4 2s are 8. Again, 2 2 2s are 4. Now, you want to write the, you want to find the cube root, right? So, how you will represent the cube root? 
like this here we will be writing 3 right so what is the question 64 we want to find the cube root for the given number then write it down okay so 1 2 3 4 5 6 so here factors are 6 write down 1 2 3 4 5 6 okay so here how many groups are there here we will group it with 3 right so this is one group and this is second group so we want to remove the square root we want to remove the square root so from this you will the square root we will pair it to and take one outside right here we are grouping by three so this is one group and this is second group so from this you from this first group take two outside one two outside the same way from the second group take one one two outside so two two sa then multiply and write down the answer two two sa four so what is the cube root of 64 because 4 cubes are 64, right? You all know. So, when we apply prime factorization method, we are getting 4. So, find the cube root of each of the following numbers by prime factorization method. That is the question. So, you want to find the cube root for the given number 64. So, what is the cube root of 64? 4. Okay, we got the answer. Now, we will see one more problem. The next problem is 512. So what you are going to do first step, you are going to do the prime factorization. So you have done. So you got the factors. What are the factors here? We have, uh, we got all two. So we have written. Now next step what you want to do? You want to pair it. Next step what you want to do? You want to pair it. So this is one pair. And this is second pair. And this is third pair. So next step what you want to do children, you will be taking out the, you want to remove the square root, right? You want to find the cube root for 512. So from this pair, you will write how many two? You will take common 1, 2. Again from the second group, 1 more 2. From the third, so 2, 2 is 4. 4, 2 is 8. So what is the cube root for 512? 8. Check it. You will be getting 8 cube is equal to 512. So what is the cube root for 512? 8. What is the answer? 8. So this is how you want to find the cube root by using prime factorization method. Can you see here two numbers children? So what is the first number? 1331 and 400 and next number 400 and so for, sorry 4930. So here you want to find out what do you want to find out? You want to find without doing the prime factorization method you want to write the cube roots. Can you understand? So before problem was you want to find the cube root by using prime factorization method. So for this numbers uh, the question is, you can take page number 116. Third question, you are told that 1331 is a perfect cube. Okay, 1331 is said as a perfect cube. Can you guess without factorization what is a cube root? So without, well, simple just you understand it. How to take, how to find out the cube root without prime factorization method. So first method we have seen by prime factorization method how to find the cube root. So in this problem you are going to find out the cube root without prime factorization method. So first you want to do is you want to make the group. You want to make the group. So first we will see for first example 1331 okay so first what you want to do you want to make the group first write down the number 1 3 3 1 so we will be making the group of three digit starting from the rightmost that means 
you will start from the ones place this is ones place right you will be starting grouping by three okay one two three we will start from ones place and we will group it by three one two three so this is one group and this is second group but here only one digit is there so so how many groups are there two groups so in this question how many groups are there two groups are there right so here the digit in the unit place is one this is unit place right the digit in the in the unit place is one so the perfect cube ends in one so first we will take the first group so this is the first what is the first group what is the first group if you want i'll write to clear it what is the first group children we are taking the first group 3 3 1 so here in the unit place this is unit place or we will say it is ones place what is the digit 1 so the cube root ends in 1 1 into 1 1 right so the cube root ends in 1 so in the second group first group the cube root ends in 1 okay so here the cube root ends in 1 now take the second group this is second group so here only one digit right here only one digit so the cube root ends in if you want you can take and write it second group okay second group there is only one digit so and it ends in one so here also the cube root will be one here also the cube root will be here also the cube root will be one so we can write so from this what we can write cube root of 1331 will be 11 cube root of 1331 is 11 so one more time i'll explain the same way you can do it for 4930 so we are taking here 1331 so the question is 1331 First step you are grouping. So we will start grouping from 1's place. So by 3 right. Group will be in terms of 3 numbers. So 1, 2, 3. So this is first group and this is second group. So in the first group the number ends in 1 right. The unit place number is 1. So the cube root also will be 1. 1 into 1, 1. And in the first group also the cube root ends in 1 because only one uh, digit is there and here one's place is 1 so when you multiply 1 into 1 you will be getting the answer 1 so the cube root also the second group for the second group also cube root ends in 1 so both the numbers are 1 right so we will be writing 11 so if you want I will do this problem also okay remaining uh, two more numbers I will give you can do that Thank you children. Have a nice day. See you in the next session. Bye-bye.